Hey folks, welcome back to Ostruf. I have been sitting here for the last almost two weeks, waiting for this log to go away. Actually, well, no, I do need that to go away, I think. Maybe I don't. Let me delete that. I assume they're still going to come back and get that thing, but I want to put one more booth right here. I've got pretty much every item that we have available to us in these, minus the booze. And in case that helps the tavern to grab it either from here or a market, including the one over there too, because apparently a second market just doesn't like to pick up uh, supplies. So I'm going to just make sure that, uh, or did I say market? Tavern. Anyway, need to rule out all possibilities. So you and, yeah, the logs are going to, I think they're going to be in the way. That's what I'm waiting for. And it still shows two, even though one has been picked up. Interesting. I want you... Well, I might be able to make that work. Oh, we're cutting it down again. Interesting. <laughs> Oops. Not supposed to notice that. But you guys are going to pick up the same log one more time? You are. You've already walked away with that one. I watched them. I was waiting for them to get rid of the other one. Maybe, and, and it's it's back again. Oh. Okay, we, we got problems. We do. All right, well, one more time. Rotate you, well, actually, it's F1, and then bring you to that one. Spin you around, grab something close to a, I guess not a 45. This is more like over here. So... Can't quite tell what the bush is, but somewhere in there, and I guess to just shy of where we touch, is all I'm going to be able to get for who knows how long. Eh, it'll do. It'll do. Okay. You get the, let's see, first one is in there. Next one is right about there. I forgot beers at the top. And then I decided to throw glassware in here. Because I think I've got everything but glassware and pottery. And I've got two spaces left over here. So whatever else gets thrown at us between now and the end of the series, I should be able to accommodate all of them. I tossed a gazebo into there. And I've been setting these guys up to take trees down in here. And little by little they're doing everything but the one tree I was waiting for. Anyway, that's starting to happen. This is starting to clear. I set two buildings in here to make it easier for them to go and take out the trees. We will stop the building process once the trees are down. Other than that, that is moving this guy. I'm still going to go through and fence it, decorate it, put benches out, and wait for the gazebo to build kind of archway into the, the different roads as they enter, make a big Y through here. And I guess I'll sneak a road back behind there. And there already is one kind of behind there. So I guess one will kind of travel through. I don't know. It's, it's a little convoluted right now. It's because these guys open up into the space. So kind of took away, unless I had rotated these to face that, but still about the same thing. These guys are still picking those logs up. Come on, let go. Oh, he picked up a different one. The one out here now. Okay. We're running everything out of here for some reason. So they're taking these trees out from there instead of here. I wouldn't think that's any closer. See, see if I can get all of them. There to there. There to there. If it is, it's by a few pixels. Hmm. Anyway turn these guys back on again they had finally worked through their logs so they're going to start taking out these and i'm debating now just what to do with that i wanted to shoot out to here they want to head down to where they actually walk and if i try to fight that i will probably lose i think this needs to be the main road right here and it just kind of branches all over the place and turns into a you know, like an, oh, those, those ant farms that you could buy. You know, big glass thin container with, with, you know, with glass walls and the ants would carve their, uh, their, their tunnels through. 
<laughs> That's what this forest is starting to look like. It's a mess. So eventually we'll have to carve a real pathway through here. I guess we're not restricted to the uh, idea of crossing through the market and going through this arch anymore. Yeah, that's just... That's not a thing anymore. Okay. Uh, no, actually, that's not the market. There's the market. So, yeah, there's going to be one main road that shot all the way through the map right there, but I guess that's just not a thing now. Okay. Well, here's the space where the old market was, and now that I've taken... Nope, I'm in the wrong place. Here's the space where the old market was. So, once these trees go away, and people just start taking their normal pathways again and all this starts to green out and no one's crossing through here to go to all these stalls then I think we will see quite a uh, quite a difference in here it'll all turn back to grass and we can do pretty much anything we want we can even have another house right here or two if we want to I don't know we'll, we'll have to figure that one out okay, let, let it uh, return back to natural then it might be an easier uh, thing to look at and figure out um no trades are going on we're into september all of the harvests are done everywhere but over here and this one is still having a hard time getting everything but anything but the leftovers once the other ones finish then these folks finally move over here and this is the only one that I've got the wages raised all the way up to 150% to try to get uh, get them over here. Hmm. So increasing the wages doesn't really work. 150%, 100%, and they still just go here first. So there probably is no real reason to even be paying all those extra wages. Take you back down to 120, just like the... Uh, just like I did for the workers to make sure that we actually get workers. You guys are going to work. Is anybody working? Uh, going to work, buying food, buying food. Okay, so let's you, you were there er, sooner? No, you get there first. Let's see if you actually work. Child has been born, waiting for a partner to get a log. Okay, so you guys are back to logging again. And did, uh, yep, they finally got that log out of there. All right. Did I hire you? I didn't. There, now we're hired. So I think I've hired everywhere. Uh, we're into September. So slow down. Are we really out of all of our supplies? We have honey, some cherries, some apricots, some garlic, and some peas left. And that is it. Wow. Okay. We are starting to eat our town dry <laughs> by the time we get to October what has been bought and in the houses is what has been bought and in the houses there's not much left besides peas um, I got a comment that I had missed something and I didn't even see that actually I, I do kind of now remember seeing it when I was looking at these families but that just didn't compute because in my mind there was no store in this building so I just didn't even my brain didn't even acknowledge that gap right there. It was like, well, that apartment didn't rent. So, but there is a store in here. So I went through all of the other stores and figured out everything that I missed. And I got pretty much everything now represented in this area. All the pieces I missed. I still have one something, a space for something. I even got glassware in there. So maybe that's pottery when we get to that. This built while I was waiting for that tree to to go away over on the other side so that's the idea here fencing wise I stuck this one out just to kind of force people to walk around maybe we'll get a little bit of grass in here though I need to probably do something like that over here too that's a three rail fence so let's just do that out of curiosity snag somewhere in there nope you don't like it so if I were to go out to here and then go until it turns red Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. Doesn't quite grab, but people will now walk from here to there and let a little green grow up in this area. I think it'll look better. This needs to leave. And I still haven't got... I still haven't taken the time to really figure out what that means and where to. Right here. That works. That opens up a path. Yeah, let's do that right there. Okay, so grab... Um, you? You're probably closer in alignment already. 
It bounces. It goes from there. Yeah. Get a bounce because of the elevation. I want to touch the T a little bit. Okay. And from there... I suppose. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get this out of here. Move those carts to there. So let's move you up to the next... Let's do you right now. Getting the row houses done is not that critical. They've been bringing over lots of materials, though. I think we're working on this one. And apparently we're working on this one, too. They were both kind of there, so the cart shed is probably moving a bunch of materials around. That's fine. Um, I've got some work to do over there. I just want to see if we're kind of done everywhere else now. Uh, you guys are still running out of workers, although I did kind of steal a lot of workers for a while, laborers. I had set all of these to unload, so everyone came to unload all those. I set all these to load, so people have been moving around, and apparently I missed that it was supposed to be ladies. I did. So these can all be... Yeah, women. There's no exceptions. I'm just trying to think of everywhere that there are these in the map. These guys, there are some exceptions. Where am I? here some have two some have more but these are all uniform so you are going to be all women any laborers and come on now where am i one and no off seasons at this point there are some with off seasons and that does mess everything up yeah so maybe i won't go and check that i will instead uh, I guess do this manually. There, and there. Okay, you. Gonna do this ten times. So it's ten booths to get everything into the market. Yep, all these guys, it could be working the uh, the jobs that only guys are allowed. That's why I'm doing this. There are a lot of jobs out there, like the ones who run the cart shed, for instance. Only guys are allowed to work there. So they're kind of important to have available. And is that all of them? Thank you. Oh, got you. I think I've got them all now. Yeah, some of these have non-perishables in them. And so those I put on seasonal hiring and I let them off for the months of whatever to do other things. And I know that their project is not going to spoil while it's sitting there. But I don't know that I have really gone through this properly and set everything in that is non-perishable. You know, this person would have to be there all the time. This one over here could leave at any time, though it would be nice to have firewood available. So I probably need to move firewood into one of the perishable ones. That would be, in fact, I can swap you out with peas, which don't perish. So maybe you are really firewood, and you are really... No, yeah, peas, yeah. So you're non-perishable like these, and you're firewood, so that someone's there all the time to make sure there's always firewood. Okay, bell post is done, so that tree got taken out, good. Any other bell posts that's sitting around here? These trees I want out, so I've got them marked. I want that tree out. Um, feels like there's one more here somewhere. I think I got you marked? No, I don't, I should though. But every time I do that, with just a bell post or a bench and you know, this one needs to go out that needs to go out then i get one more thing up in here so yeah that's why i decided to use buildings over here that, that worked out pretty good now they'll be next they're right in there okay so cart parking's going in you're thinking seriously about that all well, the materials are being brought over once that's done we'll swap this one around um an idea came in for the oh, several ideas came in for this area one how do you direct traffic without having to put fences everywhere and out of looking like we're just corralling everybody and 
and it just you know it doesn't look as authentic you could put see how she'll clip right through the bushes here you could put a, a shrub or a hedge or you know some new family is settling into town oh okay we have ourselves some tavern workers and we got booze so the problem that was in uh, from that other comment apparently that was specific to that map it seems to be working here. Now, do we... I guess we'll have to wait and see if this one still maintains booze or if over time this goes away and the game gives all the credit to this one instead. But, I don't know, let's, uh, we'll, we'll just wait and see. But right now, it's, it's looking positive. Okay, Dirkachi, you like our charcoal. That's who you are. We can do 15... We can do 13 to 95. Let's do it. Okay. You want to sell us salt and lime leather. How are we on leather? We bought 2,000. We still have 1,500. Okay. Metal parts were right where we always seem to be. So we leveled off really well there. Iron, we're at 1,600 now. I guess it's time to start selling iron. Iron ore, pigs, cow, horse, flour. We're at... 500 now. Sallow, we're still not making our own, so let's bring in 1,000. And <clears throat> dried fish, we are making our own now. We have enough for ourselves. Okay. Potatoes, we've got 2,000 from this harvest that just came in. Okay. So you want to buy from us wheat. Maybe it's time to get rid of some. It doesn't go bad, but we are making it so much faster than we're selling it, which seems like such a waste. I think two more windmills in here. I think that's, that's a thing. We're storing wheat here now, up to 4,000. We're storing it here. No. Flour. Okay. Flour there to give them a place to dump it here. Wheat. 2,000 of 2,000. There's still wheat sitting here. It's 2,000 that just came in. I don't remember if there's wheat over in here or not. Yeah, there is. There's wheat over there too. Wow. Okay, let's just make this happen. We're going to double our windmills. So you tuck you in like that. I didn't want to put you in the trees. I didn't think it looked good. But I don't really want to delete and erase all these. Yeah, let's tuck you in tight. And I think, what's it take to get, so you're going to, but you can set off over here a little bit. Well, that, that, uh, the piece that they use to swing it around, that tail, that's going to be out in the middle of the road if we do that. All right, where else can we put windmills? That's not bad. Doesn't look bad. It kind of fits. All right. We'll do that. And we'll just leave you out of the trees and kind of put you right over here. Okay. All right, so there's two more window windmills going. And I want those in pretty quickly, too. So you're going to be right there. And you can be even sooner. Right in there. We're all working over here now. Not really. I'm running slow, and you're all thinking about things. You're just bringing supplies over. Okay, let's get the windmill built. It's not. Uh, we're not critical over here yet. Now you are that one. Whatever happened to the other one? Right there. You need to be in front of him. It's you that can be delayed a bit. But getting back to this conversation. No, I'm still working over here. Then we'll get back to that conversation. Wheat is what we were discussing there. Okay, so there is wheat in the trading post. There has been wheat in the trading post for some time. Let's just make this group go away. 1570. We'll do that. So wheat to sell? Yeah, you want to buy wheat. 1570. Alright, well that cleans up something in the trader. Good. Now, what do we got? Um, shoes? We certainly could. Let's move 2,000 down. 
This is Durkachi, so it's a good size run, and you got a bunch of charcoal to do first. So we should have time. Uh, deal 2,000... Yeah, okay. 2,000 shoes. There you are. I wish it would highlight this automatically. I can choose it and type it, but I've got to go find it with my mouse. What else? Shoes. Uh, buckwheat. We're in that 5,600K. Charcoal chicken eggs. We are down to 50 again. Is that really flutters between 20 and 100 back and forth. Sunflower oil. How are we there? We have enough for ourselves. I think we'll call that good. Clothes. We're doing a lot better now. Okay. Okay. Honey. We're doing pretty good. Apples. We have harvested. You'll take 7,000. Let's move out 4,000. 4,000 apples. And let's get that triggered right now. Apples. Dracachi is the one that fills this trader up. Uh, temporary you. So it just depends on how everything aligns when it happens. Harelka, you want to buy apples, honey. So you don't have anything else to sell us that's important. I think we're done there. And we'll just see how that goes. Okay. What else is there to get out of here? We need to move the leather out. We did. We have not bought stone. That was a big bottleneck right there. It was over 5,000 stone. Leather is not over here. Oh, it isn't. Then let's move leather into here. Let's put 2,000 leather in here. Uh, a lot of pumpkins. We're about to harvest all of those. So this year will be a good test to see what really comes in. We have more houses with more gardens. How are you guys doing? This is the family that's having all the trouble. They've got quite a few supplies in, though small numbers of. A lot of these look like, uh, as a partial, maybe there's a, a problem there. I've seen that quite often. Is it here that's had a partial something in it all this time? Yeah, partial buckwheat all this time. If I say make empty, there, gone. Stop making empty. Interesting. I can't do that with a house, right? No, just propose relocate. I think all these are false. I think there's a. it's less than one and they'll never go away. And all these two will rot. Those peas are stuck. Until they buy more peas... Unless it never triggers because it, they never actually ran out. Hmm. I don't know about that one. But yeah, that, that buckwheat's been there for, I don't know, 10 episodes maybe. So there definitely is something wrong with that once it gets less than one. Um, but I'm done with that now. And everything's functioning up there so I can get back to this for a little bit. The idea that came in was that since these guys are going to clip through the bushes, that's not actually a barrier. But... You get those bushes thick enough, this, uh, a hedge, you can hide a fence line in there and not really even see it. So let's try that. Let's set you... Uh, even... Boy, they get stuck. I'm moving my mouse right here and it's not even moving. It feels like the game just froze, but I know it didn't. Let's get you about there. And this guy will hide pretty good in here. You know, it kind of disappears with the uh, with the shrubs, with the shrubberies. Let's pop you and just kind of move you around in. Right there is hidden. Yeah, something like that. That one disappeared, so we can cause uh, create a barrier without it really looking like an obnoxious barrier. I like that. that. That came in yesterday's comments, and that works pretty good. So I, I didn't do the whole area yet. I thought I'd show this. Then we'll go through and, and do something here, too. But I do want to force them up on this upper part. But I don't want to make it look like we're, you know, corralling them in with fences like, uh, you know, like, like a nanny state. <laughs> you may only go here, but if we make it look like yeah, I don't know, somehow natural. Maybe we want to fill more of this in, so it's a couple of trees and other things make this you know, more of a, of a natural area. 
Um, another suggestion came in that that one of the the uses for a building like this is for oh, I forget the the terminology, but it's more of a you know picture back maybe baptisms, more of a you know epiphany baths. I think is the way that it was worded. So that this would be an you know an area that that would work well in, if we could get anything to interact with the water to kind of you know make it uh, make it look like the scene moves into the river a bit. But the only thing that we have in this game is this guy besides you know a fishing dock or something. But I was worried about them then trudging down all the grass using it to get water. But I guess if you look at this carefully, there's really nothing out here as far as an industry that uses water other than these guys, which are taking this path right here. So maybe they won't. Now, exactly how to make this look right, I'm not sure. Is, oh, everything just froze there. Is this something that comes should come off the building? Boy, we're bouncing hard there. Or one on each side. Kind of... There and... Should that have stayed like that? I guess so. I'm holding the shift down. I can't rotate that, unfortunately. I can't make it... Uh, make it twist a little bit. But that's about the same distance from... One of them... Or two of them. Let me know what you think. We won't build these just yet. I'll just set them in place. But that's about the only thing I can think of that interacts. Uh, where to put that? Put you there and there. Fences die when they get to the water. Hello. There we go. As soon as I touch the water, it goes red. So I can't build out into here. You know, it might be nice to, to see this you know, a property or a marker for this, this area of drifting out into the water in that case it might look pretty good but it won't let me so if this is what you're thinking of let me know if you want something different let me know how do we decorate this area i don't know i i'm working on corralling the the, the uh, pathways without it looking like i'm corralling the, fence, the the pathways but how to make this look good i don't know it's just it's kind of a barren long thin strip so something, I think we need to shorten this a little bit so that there's less area trying to, to make it look good. And this is all on the same levels. So that seems like the natural barrier right there. So more shrubs building up this embankment seems like it would look good. But in the wintertime, that's just a bunch of twigs. So no matter what, it's going to look bad. Um, we only have three bushes to choose from. I've already used a lot of the roses, but could just kind of oops pepper this area and I can make these go away real easy so if you guys have better ideas let me know but just kind of pepper this hillside here with random things um, do we want a sitting area up in there though let's think about that let's put this guy uh, here here You didn't go away. Am I running? I'm running. So you go away and let's grab another one. There it is. Okay. You go away. So I can put bushes in and take them right back out again pretty easily. A um, couple of benches. One bench. Well, there is something with the train here making this thing jump all over. And I wish I could just zoom in a little bit closer. I guess there. Alright, we'll just do the one. I don't know how to make that look... Well, okay, let me try something else. Uh, pause. Stop. You go away. Grab you. Put you one of them over here. Place is occupied. So one of them there. And the other one. Something like that. I'm trying to get them all up on the same level though. Remember when we had the farm way over there. 
I put those two benches in front of them, and as soon as I'd restart the game, they were buried down in the dirt. It just it didn't interact well with the with the the landscape. So you need to go away. Uh, grab you, put you there. Okay, you go away. Now uh, I can let you run now. Let's grab some more roses, and we can be there and there. That's probably enough of the red. Now we can go back in with white. And which doesn't look white this time of year. There, there. Kind of pepper these in and around. And even here. Then we'll go in with a little bit of lilac. Come on. Right click. Now, where does that look right? Immediately behind each one. There and there. And kind of working up for that hillside. No, it won't let me there. That's Occupy. We're a little thin in here. So we'll put you in there and there. And down below. And then kind of close off this entrance a little bit. So... Hmm. A little more red. That one. And here... And we'll let that grow up a little bit. Probably need some trees in here. i got to be careful with trees, though. Because we're going to very quickly hide all these buildings with the trees. This one over here, I put these in in and around all of the uh, um, all of the, the market stalls. And then pretty soon, I couldn't see my market anymore. They were just buried in all these trees. So, got to be careful laying those out. And I know I put trees in here. Yeah, one, two, three. I put ash trees back here. But I need to not put so many or you can't see anything anymore. I bury them pretty good. Um, that reminds me, there was a suggestion that came in that autumn colors in this on this map, now they get a little interesting in here. But that's about it because everything here is evergreen. They're all spruce. So maybe we need to think about clearing some areas out and putting some nice birch groves back in. Kind of like what is going on right here, but even out in the forested areas, it would look good. So I like that idea. And definitely need some trees going on in here. This is getting a little bit barren. There's one spruce over here, try, oh, a couple of them that are trying to uh, take off and grow again. Now, I was told that they don't replant trees, that the forests do not replant, that these little guys here were here originally. And we took the big trees out and finally exposed them. But they won't actually grow. They will stay as small small trees. And I've never really taken the time to see if that's real or not. But I guess if you think of it, these, well, this is fairly recent. Hmm. It's, it's very possible that these have been here for a long time and nothing has grown from that point on. What I don't know is this ground was originally all forest. You can see, you know, the, the colorings here. This is forest land. Does the game remember that this was forest and occasionally pop new little trees up in what used to be the forest land? That's what I assumed, which means we're going to get little sproutlings showing up here and there randomly forever. But maybe that was just a wrong assumption. Maybe these have been here for this entire time. So take note of this. One, two, three, four in this area. Let's see if that ever goes away. What was that? Bell post is completed. Okay, so you're done. Any others here? Uh, this guy. And I feel like this one that was over here. So must be two teams working this area right now. It's like one tree finished enough to complete it, but there's still half a tree from another one sitting in here. Must be two teams working on this. Um, all of our wagons coming in. Into here. So, what were we working on? Trees. I want to... You're in. That's the noise I was hearing. You go over there. So we can get this other one out soon and get our pathway opened up here. Um, trees in this area would look good. They will overwhelm the front of this soon. 
and maybe that's good. I don't know. We're going to have trees in here. I don't want too many because they're going to quickly make this look really congested again. But these are going to be fruit trees. That was kind of the whole idea. Um, apples are probably the most usable. Uh, where am I? Right here. Oh, one tree has already moved over there. I see. Well, apple. It would be nice to get a variety. But let's... Apple. I can go all the way to there. Apple there. And say over here. We'll put three in this one and two in that one. Like that. Because I don't want to get too crowded in around these staircases. I think that's really going to make it look restrictive if we do this and that. But we could put in a cherry there. Yeah, I think so. Go until I almost touch. And we'll get a cherry over here. And we get an apricot in. You're the one that's out over here? Yeah. Put you in between. And maybe over here. And then well, I suppose an apple will finish this. Right in here. Whether or not we do the rest, though it does seem consistent, but we're pretty soon not going to be able to see the front of that building? Nah, I guess we will. I guess we will. Okay. So you're an apple, you're an apricot, you're an apple, and you're a cherry. Yeah, something like that. Okay, could get another one here and then a couple more on this run, but I don't know what happens to this fence line for, you know, for the long term. Looks fairly straight. So another building. This road, down this side of it. Another building, another building. So a real building here, full length. And then these two and probably another small corner right there. Ought to be close to the end of this one. Windmill and bell post. Okay, windmill, let's just move these orders over. Right? Yeah. Move you over... Marifa. And bell post. Where did you go? You're over there. Okay. So all the trees, one more tree goes away here. Then this guy gets built. Where are you? Gazebo right there. Move you in to about like so. Maybe next time we'll see the gazebo go in. Um, Marifa is salt right there. So these guys are still happening, which means they're still plugging up our our uh, our storage space here. I've got 6,000 space left. What is leaving? You are picking something up. So those are going away, those are going away. Uh, how are we doing on apples? They're not in the list. That was Marifa. Uh, it was Dracachi. So apparently the apples came and they weren't all here yet. I expected the apples to come after all the charcoal was done because I ordered the charcoal first. But there's no more order for apples. Interesting. Marifa, you don't buy apples too, do you? Uh, demands. Nope. Okay. You want from us things I'm not willing to sell, except for the salt. 85, we have 2,000 in. Take us down to 65? Sure, and that 2,000 is already here. So it's not an additional storage space deal. Okay. So buying from them, I don't see anything. Other than hemp? No, we, we have plenty. Okay. So, we're done with Marifa. Alright, so... What have I... left half done? Um, school. No kids. Kind of checking up on things we've been checking up for the last few times. we got six in this one now. Uh, so this... 
So last time, I don't know if I really got it all out. What I was trying to say was the tens, the kids that did not go to school, I'm guessing that they didn't reach the school. Once they turn 10, I think the game decides if they're going to go to school or not. And if there isn't a school within reach, then at the, all the rest of their ages, they will still not go to school. No required resources and export stock wheat. Did the wheat get moved out? No, it's right there. Oh, I didn't actually click it to say do it. That was my mistake. Okay, wheat, uh, just in case it's still possible. It was 1570. Yeah. Um,. I guess, or I could leave it at zero. I don't know. It's triggered. That may well have been this one who just gave up. Probably was. So I think we've lost that one. Um, world map. Now, Dirkachi is not still here. So it's just Marefa right now, and you will only want to sell us wheat. Okay. So that's not a thing for you. I just want to see who this is. Are you here for charcoal, or is there a chance that the game is warning me ahead of time? Is there anybody working right now? Yeah. Speed you up. What are you going to load? Probably charcoal, right? Boots. Okay, so the weed is done. Okay, so that that was a fail. Alrighty, yeah, you got to have it in the list in order for it to work. Even though it's just, it's already there. Once it's not in the list, then it is available for the town to come and get it. And the game can't have two owners of the same product. It's either owned by the trader or it's owned by the town. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. Maybe we'll still sell it. We still have plenty of wheat. Um, you still need a tree taken down. So we're working on this row house now. We're taking out one more tree. Then we have another row house in place. This gazebo could be in front of that one. The docks could be as well. Let's leave them until I hear back to see if that really is kind of what you were picturing is how to interact with the, the river and the chapel at the same time. Is surrounding it something that would look good or just a single one? with the intent that it is, you know, head out on onto here or, or use it like a something to hold on to as you wade out into the waters or just how so. So this is going to start looking really ugly now. Um, yeah, what is, I, I think the birch is kind of our smallest tree, isn't it? The ash is huge, the maple is huge. Um... Dog rose, the birch, cottonwood is really tall. The pines are not as big as the spruce, but they're still a big tree. I think it's the birch, and I think the birch just kind of needs to sit in here somewhere. That's not bad. So down in the lowest part, oh, that would work even better. Let's put two of them in there. Too close to another tree. Ah, uh, you can't make a nice little cluster. That's a shame. I can go there, though. But yeah, it goes red right there. Uh, bell post is completed. Let's uh, go there before it goes away. Okay. Um, this one. You. That's not a bell post. Right there. Uh, right there. Delete. What was that other message about the charcoal? Okay. So, does it say anything about wheat? Nothing in stock. Okay, it does show it. And that takes us back to here. Okay. So, two trees in that mess, and that'll just be a thing. So, let's slow down so I don't feel like I'm missing everything, and reproduce that over here, duplicate it. That is a bunch of the red roses, and I didn't pack you too tight in here. I think the... Actually, that's the end of it. That's a little white one. And wow, it does not let me move around in here. It grips it. And I noticed something this time I've never seen before. While I was laying all of those out, I suddenly got a message. Game is recalculating. And everything paused. And then the message went away and it continued. So 
I've never noticed that one before. So I think that may be part of stopping all of the stuttering. Just to let you know, okay, we're having a little issue here. So it gives you a visual warning as to what's going on. So let's put a bunch of these. These are the red ones. Uh, yeah, they're the bigger ones. Hello. So I did them about like so. I'll take that fence out of there when I'm done. And how far down? I kind of want to see the rose, or the, 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 the arch. So let's call that good. Let's grab the white ones now. Put you at the very end. And in between. And right in the corner. And... Yeah, we kind of build up around here. Places occupied. Okay. So with that, you can go away. If I can grab you. Wow, there we go. You're gone. You're gone. And you're gone. And then I can go in with the three rail. Wow, I want to zoom in so much more and I can't. Every time I see this, I'm rolling that wheel. I want to get in there and look inside those bushes. So you are clear out over here. So I'll put you in here, and that's fine. They're not going to cut through this unless they're going to church. Otherwise, they're just going to walk past anyway. And they're going to do just what happened there. But this is going to show the fence so much more. So I think that's the first place that I can hide it a little more, at least in the summertime. So you're going to go there, and pretty much a straight run. Though to hide things... Let's put you about there. I'm trying to picture where the where it's going to be really thick and bushy next time. There's Turkachi again. Okay, so you... I cannot go up against the bridge, unfortunately. I guess we're going there. And to there. So hopefully they won't go here to go over because it's not a shorter pathway than, than here to go over. So I don't think we're going to be cutting through. But, yeah, it's not going to be quite as effective in the wintertime. But in the spring, summer, and early autumn, it should look pretty good. Okay, Durkachi. Um, we could try the wheat one more time and get it right this time. They're the ones we were selling it to. So, Durkachi, we have 1570. So, let's try that once more. Still salt going out to Marifa. Durkachi has still got a bunch of charcoal happening. 5,000, you've done 5,000 of, so we need another um, 8, 82, 90 something, and we have in stock 6,000. So we are slowly, yep, there's another 800. We're slowly building that back up. I think we'll be okay. Apples are still here at 4,000. We sold those apples to them. No, we've restocked another group because... They bought only part of it? No, because normally it cuts that number down as they take it away. I don't think it got any of the apples or any of the wheat. Can we find that out? Wheat was a problem there. There's no apples in this list. And that was all prior to. So they didn't do the apples or the wheat. Okay, world map. You want apples. We have 4,000. So let's try that again. 4,000, deal. And they want wheat. We have 1570. And deal. They're demanding, so that means we're selling. So I, I didn't get that backwards. Okay. I didn't buy 4,000 apples. <laughs> okay, well, we'll redo those two sales and call that good. And there's laborers coming to help. Okay. All right, so they're done. And where am I? 50 minutes. Every time. Yep. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just figuring out what I want to do this episode. <laughs> um, so that's decent there. 
and we'll still do some more decorating in here make this look better it's it's not even close to done but it's starting to flush out the the outskirts of it at least we get these built next time after I get comments whether or not that looks right or, or looks odd but I unless you can think of another building that interacts well with the water there aren't many there really are there's this guy this guy and this one this one and that one so if there's any other ones that I've missed there's no de decorations that will interact with the water though speaking of decorations this was brought up a couple episodes ago and I thought it was a good idea but I wasn't sure how to deal with it this fits this architecture but where to put it and how I don't know unless it maybe took the place would it take the place of this? Not really. We're too tight in the middle. We'd be in the road and we'd be in the pathway. But that is an interesting idea. It won't work here because there's only that yellow spot in space left. Would it work here? Um, get over the top a little bit and spin you around. If we put this in in place of an arch, since you can walk through it, that is a main road though. Even this looks a little tight for a main road. Maybe this is overkill. Maybe this just needs to be an opening here. Take this across, even drop over here and end, and then start up again without an archway at all. Because it does feel like this needs to be a lot wider. Huh. Don't know. Give me your thoughts on that. But where would this guy go if we added one to this area? He doesn't work in between buildings. Kind of feels weird off here at the end. Does he just sit in the... I kind of think he takes the place of this. I wish I could turn the yellow off and actually see the building itself. Yeah, that is. Can I... Does it go away at a distance? No, the other ones go away, but not this one. Okay. Um, the width of the... I guess we'll look in here. The width of this, is that similar to the width of this? It looks like they're very similar in size. So I could have the fence butt up to the center of the front column. Right in there. And basically it would be just like the archway. It's not as wide, which means I can have a little stub of fence out there so it doesn't look like it's... Yeah. Give me your thoughts on that. What do you think? Should this replace this archway? Or is that overkill? I don't know. It's the right architecture. I just don't know how to make it interact with this that doesn't seem odd unless it took the place of a building. Yeah. If this courtyard was bigger, then he'd be a great middle point here. Unless he goes outside of it, kind of like we did here. Ah, uh, here we did a gazebo and a chapel and a well and a seating area. Do we move the chapel to one side, put the gazebo on the other side and seating in between and make a, a little area over here. That's kind of an interesting idea. And it would, there's so much room for this tiny little building, it would give a little more reason to have all this. So if this was over here, remove the docks, put this guy uh, something like that. This guy over here, the, the chapel, maybe a dock in between. And benches, I don't know. So, yeah, continue to give me your thoughts on this little area. How do we make that look better than this one little building out here? And some bushes around it. And a bench. That's, that's the easy way to do it, but I don't know that it is as authentic looking. So we need to do something better there. I just don't exactly know what it is. All right, so is there anything else I need to think about 
Um, haven't gotten any further over here yet. Tavern. Previous month's income, 240. I don't have any houses. Okay, part of the comment that uh, regarding this second tavern was that immediately upon placing it, I think it's, he said they're not selling booze and or the next house that went in gave a warning on the side you know, as one of the criteria to f filling it. Let's see if I can find that list real quick. Moving? No. Uh, come on. Treasury. Oh, it's over here, right? There, there, there. This list. It's It said no alcohol available. I'm not seeing that on the list here, though. Jobs, entertainment buildings requested at this point. Religious needs are satisfied. Enough food, water sufficient, migration allowed, housing. So maybe eventually there is a line item for alcohol. And this interacted with that. Maybe it's... I think he was mentioning a population of around 500 is where it just kind of stagnated at that point. So maybe 500, there's another trigger that I simply don't know about because I've never taken the game out that far. Maybe that's when this starts to become more of an issue. Yeah. Over time I guess we'll we'll just play with that. Right now they're making 240. So let's run this a while and I don't see any pathing. So nobody's been coming up to this to go and get anything. To go and satisfy their their need for a tavern, the need for entertainment, whatever. You've got tallow. Cool. They're going to start making soap. Um, how are we in that regard? We've got a hundred sheep hides waiting. I still haven't seen a need for a third person yet, so I think we're still okay there. But this was a question last time. We now have two full cow sheds interacting with only one tannery. Are we in trouble? And we don't seem to be. So we still have room for three more. And by the time that happens, this is going to be finished. So I think we're still okay. One tannery for two full cow sheds. Um, have I missed any notices? Uh, you've got two teams. And you've got two teams. Okay. And you guys, 12 and 12. So they're still, they're middle-aged. Yeah, they're like me. <laughs> so two of those got done. Where are we at now? Child has been born. We're... 323? Yeah. Threes and fives are kind of hard for me to see unless I make that UI just a little bit bigger. It, it kind of blurs right in that spot right there. You are Roadhouse. We are back to working on you again. Okay. Maybe we can finish you up before I turn this off. The gazebo will be next. I'm already bringing supplies over. Nice. In fact, everything's over. So this will get built. I'll fence around it and corral the pathing so that the roads become more distinguished kind of archway in and out of it maybe and then benches here and there and then shrubberies here and there and this will look pretty good when it's done we have a house going in there so the only void right now is, is in this area hmm I could almost take these out put them back over here and push these back a little bit and make the path kind of permanent through here rather than the split pathway which even this looks funny I was following the contour of these guys when I laid it out it was all full of trees I couldn't see what I was doing now it looks odd so it's like you need to be aligned with this one and we need not to have a path in here hmm well over time I'll, I'll take a more of a look at that but otherwise let's see this happen you guys still have way too much iron over there um starting to snow we're at this point you are going to be a three-story just a regular apartment building i didn't put another store in and i didn't put an arcade in 
I could have, probably should have, just to put two of them side by side, but didn't think of it at the time. And it gives us yet another interesting roof. All of these, none of these roofs match. I didn't get anything next to each other that actually matched. <laughs> so there is a contrast between every point, which gives it a lot of extra textures. I think that looks good. I do. So a two-story in there, and then a, no, actually the gatehouse. So this guy is going right there, but backwards. And then nothing. So we put a little corner here and another two-story. Probably this guy right here. And he'll come out to here. The corner house will come out to about there, too. And then we'll arch and road through. Yeah. But you're going to take longer than I have to give you, aren't you? Who's actually here working? One of you? Just one. Well, two now. And you're on your way. There you are. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Well, maybe they'll get it done. That, that moved quite a bit in the last few seconds. Okay. So let's, we'll hang around here for a little bit and see this guy pop in. Here's the front of it. Which I'm still thinking was probably a mistake. I think all of these should have been turned in. It could have been, you know, it's all hindsight, but it could have been the stairs on this side and then the stairs on this side. And then just kind of ignored whatever happened back here. That may have looked better. It wouldn't have been as consistent. But then it turned out not to be anyway. There's no stairs here, here, or here. So this is the only one that's going to have stairs to match in there. Hmm. So yeah, these fronts probably should have been back in here. Uh, construction completed. Have married. And Balakli is visiting. And I am going to call this one done here. So thanks for watching, folks. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now. Thank you.